welcome back <clears throat> to episode two. I left you guys off with a little hole. So now let's go check it out. Um, first things first, you'll notice the upgrades and the upgrades. So that's pretty, pretty sweet. We got diamond armor with the all the enchants we need. Um, to get mending, we just made this little number over here. Brought some of the villagers from there. Um, now we've got a little bit of security on the mountain over here and uh, although these living conditions you know might be enjoyable for them I'd like to arrange them with something a little better so that's where this comes in down here so if we take a look we dig, dug out a nice big uh, nice big circle where we got three different sort of pathways going down this way is the end of the mountain this way so I think we're just going to build like a little like landing platform, that way when we get in Elijah we can just kind of fly on in. Um, over this way, I actually ran into the other side of the mountain, which I didn't think I would because I was expecting it to go out to there. But I think this is still enough room where we can put the village or trading hall over here. And then down this way will be into the mountain for sure. So we're just going to build giant storage down that way. Um, that way we can store everything and not have to worry about the place being a mess because right now everything is uh, kind of a big mess. And that's, not, uh, that's not what we need. But yeah, that's sort of where we left off. Food situation's good. Matt got some goats, and so in my mailbox over there we have one of each type of the normal horns. Now we're still looking for screaming goats for the rare horns. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we'll find some of those soon. Okay, so here we are. That's a nice little bridge we got down there. And this is, so it's just like my stuff's over there, Matt's way in the distance over there. Not way in the distance, but like, you know, just, just a mountain no or two away. And uh, this is Nate's little setup area. And I promised I wouldn't throw any more water on it and get rid of all his torches, because I've already done that a couple times by accident. So, yeah, he's just got some light storage, some chickens to get some food going on here. Then he's working on a bridge, which I believe his mine is going to go uh, down into there. So that's uh, that's kind of what he's up to. Okay, so we're just coming down to Matt's here, and uh, he does have a nice little rail system, but I chose not to use it this time. No particular reason. Uh, anyway, and if we slide on up the hill, we'll notice that his little shack is still standing tall. He's got some animals, which I believe he had before, but then he found some goats and put them in here originally for breeding uh, because we wanted the, the goat horns for um, just to mess around with because they're honestly pretty fun. Um, but then he decided it was on a efficient so we decided to just go ahead and build a whole goat for horn farm so uh, he got a couple of rare boys and a couple of, couple of fancy horns I do believe and so uh, hopefully that'll keep producing and then we can all get some some fancy dancy goat horns oh yeah a couple of, couple of goat horns in there for sure. Um, and there's a skeleton spawner down over that way that he just sort of fixed up and made operational just in case we needed a little extra XP because then his house has the enchanting table set up so this is where I've been going to enchant my stuff and just kind of, you know, get everything all organized. So very huge on his part 
Uh, it's always customary to announce and denounce your stuff when you're on the way in, on the way out. So, yeah, that's what, uh, that's where we're at right now. And some of the goals for this episode are going to be the trading hall. Uh, we're going to see if we can finalize that. Um, I'd also like to go and take a peek at the nether. Maybe find a fortress and or maybe some ancient debris or the tools and the armor because uh, as I'm sure you can tell this is a custom texture pack I just made like all the textures in it I just swapped out like by, by my own doing that's why like this is the water bucket um, when I fill it with lava, it gets red and mad. And when it's uh, filled with milk, it's white. And then when there's nothing in it, it's just in the kiln. So that's kind of neat. Uh, we got the mushroom armor instead of the diamond, both on me and in the slot. So that's kind of fun. Uh, but then when I get ancient debris and make it netherite, uh, it'll be here, like the icon will be here, but then it'll be completely invisible for me. So you'll be able to see just my skin a little better so I'm definitely looking forward to that just because I think it'll make make things look a little looser and a little nicer so I'm gonna go work on some of that and I will be back to show you guys in a little moment <laughs> 